Hello, and this is an initial start of my project where I write using test-driven development uh, my bucket manager project. <laughs> Sorry for delay. So let's first of all important stuff is a setup. Project is already is set on setup. And I will go through the POM XML which I created for this project. So you see here the description is pretty obvious what it should do. Here I define some variables which I use in my POM XML. If you don't, um, if you don't know Maven, um, Maven it's a Java build tool which is uh, very helpful and allowed to very easy to manage uh, dependencies from different libraries which you should use in your project so it's like a manager for your for your lips uh, I mean jars and here when I go to the part of, for example, build, here uh, I specify which plugins I will use to build this project. For example, Maven compiler. Maven compiler it's a plugin which, uh, when Maven executed, compiles your source code to the Java bytecode. Then you have here. Um, May Maven Surefire plugin. This plugin will be used uh, to execute tests after the source code compiled. Here uh, I specify in this part I specify which tests must be included or excluded. And what we'll look at here. Here I didn't I uncommented this code because I do not need to build right now the production version of my product. But when I'm done with my product, I will uncomment this code and I will point out where my main class is and this will be included in the final product so people then can execute my jar product. Okay. So anyway, if you don't know Maven, uh, my advice uh, go to Linda or Udemy or look up in the internet tutorials about Maven. But I think it's pretty obvious what it should do. Uh, at dependencies part, you have here uh, different libraries which I use for my project. This uh, parts means that Maven tool downloads and configure into your project these libraries so then that you can use them in your source code. Uh, here have your JUnit testing tool and JavaFX. Um, I did experience some configuration problems with JavaFX but then I later found a way how to configure it thanks to another freelancer Adam Bien very good as uh, very good freelancer Java Java freelancer he is a senior experienced guy but anyway this part you should be very cautious because I defined here Java if X variable which point to my local library in my system. So where I define it, I define it, it uh, here. So you should, if you if your um, JavaFX library is uh, in another directory as in my, so you should change this line and point out to your ex directory so where your JavaFX library is belonging I mean I mean this is a place where you can find your Java library for JavaFX so just 
put here another line um, later when you do commits it probably will be some sort of problematic but I did not find any proper solution so maybe later in the project we, I decide to do best solution for dependency on JavaFX but anyway this is like working solution so I described this POM file just to, to give you some sort of overview from which part is depending this project. So Maven is a build tool which build actually your project. Uh, as you see I use uh, Eclipse. Eclipse is an open source IDE for Java development. It, it used in professional environments. I know there are many people who use uh, different IDEs like IntelliJ, NetBeans, BlueJ and so on but I picked up Eclipse because it works for me and I have most experience with Eclipse but as I tell people a tool is a tool if you need something different for your job then you should learn another tool so we developers should learn our tools and use them properly and once again Maven POM XML file just uh, is a configuration file for your project which allows which allows Maven to build your Java project and when I execute this project you have here uh, many different kind of possibilities but important ones is test it compiles the code and execute tests and you see build success but I have no test to execute so anyway it's just uh, not so important but later we will see another messages and what we should next so this was a introduction to POM XML I will say if I've, <laughs> I forgot to mention this session will take me about one hour or maybe 30 minutes I'm not sure but we'll look up further so the structure of this project you have here test in this package uh, I mean folder you will find later test source code for the main Java code projects test resources I would probably not use uh, but I will use this directly which I added to the project this is exactly I don't need this wait a second I don't need this um, this folder consists the previously mentioned in previous sessions mentioned files which I must read and generate later so let's look briefly at this file files first services now satellites XML okay so you see here <laughs> a lot of information a lot a lot a lot a lot symbol rate frequency transponder satellite this is this file consists an in information of satellite satellites um, transponders because a satellite he trans he sends this information and people who knows at which frequency simple rate and polarization and other things he can configure satellite receiver and then later scan uh, satellite and receive channels so let's look at services XML services XML as I said previously it consists a catalog of the scanner channels which my receiver found or, or I will say when the satellite receiver scanned satellite he found some channels and he outputted such file where I can read and edit information about channels but 
briefly to say is just general information about satellites. So you see I have some information about channels and I should mention that things like probably uh, yeah ID and on it there in hexadecimal form so yeah things like that are need to be take attention okay this is just briefly briefly giving you an overview so you have here buckets buckets it's a grouped list of channels so this is a, actually what uh, users see in form of channel list and you see other things like I would just tell following people who not worked with uh, satellite information they will be lost <laughs> but actually this is not a real problem because I need to read this information and to save it in form of classes so what we should do I should open satellite XML and let's think we have a satellite then we have name of the satellite we have some position of the satellite flex it's probably uh, configuration of my satellite dish <laughs> and probably I don't, I'm actually not sure but this is not so important important that I read this data frequency symbol rate polarization back inner and so on so I have one satellite and each satellite have so many lines of information and that's it okay then we start writing our program okay I will probably create a class uh, or G unit sorry I have a G unit G unit test case a package in the package package I will say test utility test util because we will we must test um, first uh, reading of XML files so read and we I wish to, to read satellite information first read set information set info read set info test okay other things not needed so this is our first test let's just execute and look up if our tool pick up this test this is just to prove this is just to prove that this function things did function not yet implemented let me let me write simple test like um, assert that okay okay assert that what what it expected and then the static import fine so we have we create we do we do some simple things first um, I will probably as this will definitely fail but okay okay this is this is okay <laughs> but I will do following I will look up a third Z in our manual
if I won't find, I use the documentation a lot in, in my case. Where I have my user guides. Okay. Axior Z. Now here I have examples what I can really test with Axior Z. I need to test that object um, exists. So look up Axior Z. So it expect. that actual maybe I should test if not 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 now sorry I I look in for not now so assert not now assert that an object isn't now okay now I do this remember we should first write a failing test so I have a po object. How I should name the the thing which I want to do? I will say sat satellite u XML reader sat XML reader. This class will read only and only satellite xml satellites xml file satellites xml so i will write here set a light xml reader object new satama sata, sat xml reader Simple things like that, and then assert not null. So this should fail. This will definitely will fail. Junior test. Look, cannot be resolved to type. So it did fail, and now. I create this file as uh, this class this class but I create here a package I I prefer to structure my project so oops. okay package I create a package with the name of set no XML util XML readers. So I have here this uh, folder, and then I need to create the uh, a reader. I create a reader. I have a class. Okay, I created a reader. This is enough to pass this test probably I need to import I need to import this file and and just execute it uh, save and run as JUnit test pass let's look how it would like if I execute our per, per, our perm XML, sorry, from a speak spelling, but just look at the result. You see, it takes some a little time when you use um, when you execute it as like in building stage, and you see test run one pass so. Basically, I can edit my POM XML. Let's look at our POM XML. And I don't need, wait a second, includes what happens when I uncomment this. It's just for me, 
just uh, just to, to to think to take things clean. Let's look it. It should execute our test. Yeah, okay. It did execute our test. Test run successful. But you see to to save your time I wouldn't I would use this tool maven tool only when I done some module so more more times you will see things like things like this run as j unit test that should be sufficient enough and when I done with my module I will show you how maven executed okay so it looks it looks great and I should now refactor my code. I should write here uh, reading. Okay, you can reading, reading, <coughs> testing, um, testing if if uh, if sat read. Uh, reader sat reader object exist some some, in some cases you don't need to write long names but I still improving my way how to do the stuff testing if sat reader object exist all right so here I need uh, and another important thing, I do not wish to each time to instantiate the, this object. Because you know, in JUnit, the order of execution of the test is verbose. It's not ordered. The, the, the execution order of the test in JUnit is not ordered. So I create um, annotation before each. And then, then, then I write void setup, and here I take our instantiation, and here I just okay. He he. Let me think a little bit. Okay. This is not this is not a problem. Um. Because oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I need to declare it as a as a global variable. So you see, you need to structure your code even in the test. It's very important. So I don't need this. Okay, what before each do? It executes. Um, it executes this setup each time when <laughs> it executes each time before test did run. You can have many tests, but before each test, test method, I have here test method, uh, before this method executed, I have another method which executes first. So this may be an order in in the things like that, but to be to say stay clear what I mean. First, when I run this test, this setup method will be executed, and then after setup method, the testing se testing if such reader object exists is execu executed. So I do this because I do not wish to, to instantiate this class each time when I use different methods. So let's do our testing. This should work. So I have created a test which, which proves that we created an object and this object exists in the memory and probably not now but as I said earlier 
it just give us assert that an object is not now isn't now assert not now so it's it's simple test but what we should do next next step will be to think about okay i have the sat xml reader what should this, this class do he should read xml and probably at this point i need to view an example how to read xml i have uh, prepared some example projects here on how to read an xml so let's look at it okay it's it's a lot of information but okay so basically i need to write a test which firstly say says me that I have read an XML and the and the, the, the class which read the information is not null and then I will start to parse the information and so you can understand this I just need to show you this this actually works So you see, here in example, this works without any problems. But to 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 pass uh, to pass our test, I need to I need to think about. Okay, so it's very it's very simple stuff. Uh, add test. And then here, I just need to check testing if first of all I must I must be sure that I have I can read the XML file. <laughs> it's very important that I can uh, that I can read the file, and I must read the file testing if XML sat xml sat xml read success so i don't need this okay now what we should test probably what i need to understand here in other example it's very important to work with a with a code which show you how to read files. Um, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so we have a list. Okay, okay. Uh, it's sometimes not pre pretty obvious what should I do. Dom document. Okay. Okay. Okay, so first of all, where is the read operation? Here I give my path. The path file name. Path file name. So here is a, our parser. This is first thing which we should test. If the read is successful. Okay, then I... Then I should structure my code as following uh, I need a boolean expression so to find a boolean expression with, I look up boolean assert true so you see I'm thinking about these cases but I write my tests to 
to later than to pass my code. So simply things which should happen. Boolean condition. Okay. So it means like like that I have my static mail reader object and I have boolean result and I write just result result of file read operation okay now now I just need to to add this and of course I must check that I have my imports I think it's assert uh, okay Jupyter assert assert I just need to check if this chain is five it's uh, that it used proper assertion okay but you see it's in in the process like this it's not always quite uh, trivial but it, <laughs> it should bring my, me a result so I need I just need to assign a value from my object and this object I need I need to have a method which reads a file I will say just simple read XML file simple things like that and this test should fail let's let's look at it you see it did it did fail now we should write a passing code where is my now we should write a passing code so we go to we make a, okay let's look it let's look up this this class It should be it should be a public public method which gives boolean so you see I have written this method this method expects probably um, a string which have which consists of path path to file path to file which which it should read so what we should do uh, I should here in my test write string path to file and this will be quite interesting here is my file which I want to read and let me think let me think what I should I need to copy copy qualified name probably probably it would help me but let's try it out it's nothing nothing uh, it's not a big deal I will say so okay I forgot semicolon okay so it I have written my test case so I have here I need it's still not not working but it's okay now you should think clearly we need uh, as example shows we need a DOM parser this DOM parser is a, is a 
is is object uh, from from JDOM library. So not not a problem. We have JDOM doc, which is an object of org JDOM document JDOM doc. So we we take it and let's add to our project let's add to our project jdom doc and um, i will probably say better that it's, pr it's private stays private that it can be used uh, in our class only um, and what i have here um, Wait a second. And here I have this command file name. So I took I take it and oh yep should file name path to file. Okay, now we have I must declare yes use DOM parser not a problem let's look at the code element root not wait, wait a second sorry use dom parser which i am a little bit overwhelmed uh, huh, interesting where ah okay here i have it's uh, document okay now I now I got it look this is a type this is a type which I should think of but it's it's okay it's okay um, it's a, it's a it's a method it's a method now I understand so it's a very funny thing so we found our case we need to write a second second method let's do this to pass our test uh, looking wait a second should i write this okay now i just need to add the proper class or jdom all right now i should take now i have this method i don't wish to copy this method but i think it will be necessary it would be necessary to do that so let's look at the code so we have our test and we have our our things to understand how we should deal with okay so i need to add another classes db dbuilder let's look document builder file name mm, i think i have lost way <laughs> but it's okay um so let's look again at, at the foreign code jdom doc jdom doc so let's think about what it should do which what it doing documentum builder okay so use dom parser oh man yeah it's sometimes like this things like you think you know 
then you understand that something goes wrong. JDOM doc. Okay, and uh, sure, sure, I understand what what I should do, because it can happen that I will throw uh, some exception. Let's do this try and catch. Okay, it's it's okay, it's okay what what she, what is doing to us. Uh, yep, yep, it's it's pretty pretty okay. Try and catch. All right. Then I should expect a return. No problem. Um, I still puzzled by part here. What? Why this part is not working? Cannot. Bit rec us bit rec okay. I know this I, I understand but where is the problem? Yeah it's okay, it's okay. The org JDOM document. The builder should be it should be it should be different type data types but let me let me just take a code and let me analyze it uh, document builder see document let me do this line by line so until until this point this method works fine so here I will give my return but I don't need it right now I have a, this another method which I which I where I have my problem. So the builder is document builder type. Document builder type is Java XML parsers. But really, document builder hmm. DB DB factory. Yeah, it's. I will tell you that is not always understandable what 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 should be done. So I think I I can handle this. Document builder the builder. Okay. So I need to I need just document doc. I will take it in this form. Okay, now I got this problem. Document private static. Uh, do I need to 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 be it's a static? I use static because it probably won't work. Static is not always good. Mm. Okay. Let me pause a little bit. Okay. <laughs> now I found a solution for for the problem. Mm. It's like sometimes you need to postpone some things to test so look at the file you see I just give I just change uh, and delete all complicated text of the code and just pass a true and give it true back 
and when I execute my test it go like this so it passing my test but it's some sort of sort of trick to pass the test and it in some cases it should be used to break the complex uh, logic and test uh, other things um, separately so let's write a test void what I need to test um, I need to test get the JDOM document from DOM parser So it's things it works like way test if JDOM document test if JDOM document was read was read. So what I need for this test. Uh, I need to call once again it's a boolean it's a boolean expression and I have a result which I expect to get result of um, of getting JDOM so and this value should be given like this and now I call my object with a new method which will uh, have a name DOM get get the doc document from DOM parser and I should have a file path to file like this now now it looks like some sort of way how to deal with this stuff so let's go back to XML reader and write this method to pass the test because now it's does not pass the test and I need just um, to <laughs> I just need to create this method which give of course boolean which, which is public and it gives back boolean expression I need path to file path to file all right and then I need to add a fix so this will be our our parser I mean method for parsing our file get the document from the DOM parser so what I need first create DOM document uh, document builder factory factory document document builder factory new instance 
Let's have a look. All right, it works. Document builder dom builder All right, it works. So I let I take our DOM builder and now I call our DB factory and I, I need a new document from from our DB factory and of course what I, ah, okay I did spelling error probably now what I, what I have a problem okay I just add rows declaration like this now what I need next document document set document let be precise set document now we call our parser so if you get lost i'm very sorry <laughs> but this is sometimes things going um funny things i will say but what i am actually doing i'm creating a dom document which i can use later in my models so I have done this. What what he does not like? Ah, I, I need to add. Wait a second. Org JDOM to document. Okay, I need another data type. Boom 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 boom. Wait we see. Wait we see document so add the, the rows declaration yes so you see it is parsing XML not so much fun what I, I need I need the Sphinx to get started okay DOM builder DOM builder new DOM builder um, so I need a builder to build my document. I will say builder of DOM. Not so good name, but I'm not so creative currently with the naming things of the name. Naming things. Right, I edit and now okay now I need to think actually actually I need to write here private Think twice. Work to document. Okay. It's not so pretty, but sat uh, sat doc. All right. I have a data type which is from JDOM library document. Okay. Now. Return and I need to I need two things I need to verify does it does it build this object or not 
So I take it. I need to test this expression. And what have we? Okay, sub document here. So did mistake and make it so that I know what I have to do to do. So. I have this strange expression which I need to verify before I do some return. Alright, that should be enough. So I think I think I should pick up some Boolean statement. As root, let me look uh, to the JDOM Java doc. Let's pick uh, up the class is a DOM builder. DOM builder, and here we have method which we need to get as root. Less the builder and his methods. Oh, oh, ah, okay, okay, I understand. Um, I'm actually getting a document type, document type. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sometimes, sometimes you have very, I will say, convoluted, convoluted path of the classes. Document. Here, here is our document. Document, document. Let's document. Here is our document. And then has root. Oh my goodness. Um, what actually built? I should look up what build method do give us to us uh, dom builder build sometimes not straight so build give uh, to us back a document org with receipt document so document here, but as root, I, th I don't think that it has this method. So we should has root element. We should look up this method. This will return true if this document has a root. Otherwise, false. Otherwise, okay. So we know if this, if after reading our XML file, we we in our new document do not have any roots, then we are then then we should return false. Otherwise, we return true and I don't need this and it should this is one of the faces uh, things which you face a lot in when you do TDD that you have some dependencies which you should break at some point so I need to make a private method here refactor extract method uh, I will say here check if new 
document as root so very straightforward and and probably this is a good point where I can where I can why ah, okay I should declare try and catch probably okay that's no no problem not 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 problem at all so we know that we're getting some some result and I've almost forgotten to write a result so I need I need a document I will probably name it private document sat document result so when we have a root then we should get our uh, document let's look at it and hope it does work um, probably I should create get us on setters source generate getters okay what I need to do set document result I probably will refactor my code after passing this test <coughs> definitely will refactor my code so I have done this thing and okay then I need to I just need to do wait a second um, this set 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 document result and now I need to write here builder now let's what we what you should try to get um, oh I forgot to wait a second all right build okay so our build method should return a document dom it's a let's look at change okay he thinks it is j org j dom 2 document but um, no 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 it's not the case so we have a problem with it, our definition of the document okay so I will delete this set and get us are okay so private document we it's not specified which type of the document do do we mean um, I think we should I should specify this and now but now it's obvious what type of the document we should get it's a document of org with receipt DOM document sub document result this is what we're getting from our build and build is a org DOM builder DOM builder okay DOM builder 
let's look at look let's look at it um as you see wait a minute uh, i need to understand the i need to understand the path set document set document set document the document of the type document okay it's a local it's a local variable 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 mm, question is from from which type it is is it from type <laughs> okay it's sometimes strange things happens but I think if I just try it out, I will understand more. So I will say set document result. And what should I get? Oops. Now let's look at what we what we got. Cannot convert. Now we know. So our builder he returns JDOM2 document. And we need to specify that we are working with org J2 document. Okay. Now it should go away. Yes, it did go away. So what? F probably, I need to getters and setters to write our getters and setters in you. Not a problem. So now get and set. Okay, and we should use setters. Never use the directly our our variables. So I have to write this. And yeah, and this this is finally going. Oops, <laughs> this is finally going to the way which I want to. To, to, to it go but I will refactor my code and I will record this additionally too because it's so important to refactor after the successful test so now we have here a problem because we need try on catch here in our test uh, now I need to define initial value here now it looks good actually i don't like it when it takes too much too much space here and i just refactor our stuff in code refactor extract method and i will say read operation with xml operation now it is a method in our test it's it's just for convenience probably i will not do it but but it looks like it's okay so let's iterate what was the problem for people who don't know what was the problem problem was that uh, in java we have two uh, classes with the same name one uh, library has a name where where it was my class look one class have a name org jdom2 document and another was like uh, org with dom document it's a 
it's a problem because we have clearly uh, to say Java from which uh, from which class we need to build our project so here are our define here are, uh, here are result and I expect actually I expect that that it will work I'm not pretty satisfied with the state of my code on the code side but we have uh, our test we have we have our test which should pass and now I just need to to run this test and look okay that we failing all right so now we understand that probably the things with the file are not as good as we expected let me let me do following okay okay you see I just verified my pre <laughs> verify my initial things I just uh, I have a Windows exp I am using Windows operating system and when I have a Windows operating system I need to check my um, path I mean I mean to I mean I need to uh, uh, to write in this following form format my path. So you see, it, it did pass. So it means that I can that I did read from XML file. This is actually good. So some of work it was, but it works pretty well. Um, I need to refactor my code. So after I refactor my my code, uh, okay, this is not. I need to. Okay, I need to be here. So I think it is one of the same thing. Do I need? do i need this other thing read xml file so look at our code and try to un to refactor it okay so uh -huh, okay it's we, we are almost at one hour um let me try to do some refactoring stuff create DOM document create DOM document I think I can extract it and that will be a separate method private method um, where I'm extract refactor extract method okay I cannot do this uh, can I do this refactor extract method? Okay, then I then it should be like this. But actually, what I need to do, I need to to be sure that I that I can work with my created DOM structure so what what did actually happen uh, get document from DOM parser uh, read file it read that file it, it read it did read XML file it did parse this file and 
the next thing which should be to work with this file but for these things I need to work with this method <coughs> this method probably will be many times rewritten but as last thing I, as I, I can I can make I just need to uh, I just need to call call get document from DOM parser. That's that's it. So let's look at our current situation. Do I use oops? Do I use ah? I don't use this. F okay. Just checking checking some stuff. When you've got so much code in so much time, then you should work it through. So, I just need to write jdom doc and then I call our method. Okay, once again why I write this method, why I want to to work with this method. Because this method probably <laughs> it should work with the DOM document. I should rename this uh, method. Probably it's just wrong um, name. And I will do this now. So I will rename uh, I will rename the test method testing if sat read I will say DOM DOM document read success so result of it's it's a clearly an example that sometimes naming is all what it needs to be done in the project result of DOM document read Okay, so I just I just did uh, rename it, and of course I need to rename here, and I need to rename my method. Read DOM document because I'm working here with DOM document. Okay, now it works. Okay, and here we have here the situation. We're giving, we're calling another method. Now let's look what have, what is the problem? Boolean. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's it's actually not a problem because of course we be sending boolean value. So so probably we should take it take it like so. So we know else. So we know what we are reading. And we know how we how we working with this. And and actually and actually what we should do we should think about this. Uh, so let's I will explain it right now what just happening. Uh, we getting our document and of course it can happen that it goes away. Let's look at it. Okay, right. Return return true. Now it's now it's passing. So 
if we read our document here get document from DOM parser and I I am calling document our file we, we read a file I will just write here read XML file we did read it and then we create a DOM document this is DOM document which we created here in this method in the method name get document from DOM parser we created a document and now we, we, we wish to to be to make we need to be sure that we can read from this DOM document all right um, I need to be able I need to be able to read from this document so let's read let's just read from this document I delete here return true because it depends on on the result which I get so I need to read the document from the type of here um, all right okay so this is actually simple this get and I just called it get document from this is what I need to no this is actually not I need another getter get start document result and I see the problem and it should be named accordingly like this now it's okay so you see if you have two classes with the same name you should clearly say which which uh, from which class you, sh you wish to make an object so we got our document and now I can look at in our document uh, so I don't like it how it goes but either way I will just refactor it further jdom document get let's look at, uh, at the boolean value maybe is is not okay has has root element if this is true then all right and we are happy return true otherwise return false and to make our live beta we just extract refactor extract method again private method uh, is jdom document has j has j document roots has root as a document root okay now it should work and I think it should what okay of course uh, I will here use try and catch And because of this, we have need to initialize with false. All right. So 
let me just execute this test and I will end the session in five minutes. So all tests are passing. It took me a while to understand the structure of the JDOM and I'm pretty sure I need to refactor the, 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 the class itself because once again what we should do that set doc do we need a set doc okay I will delete it delete it and I will here just 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 do my way so I need to run my test Okay, so I want to not, <laughs> I know it's uh, almost one hour of our time and I will conclude, but once again, what did our test show? The test reveal us some of the structure of the library which we will use for parsing XML. So very important I will go through my things setup method setup method it set up our uh, our our needed uh, things like an an object from the sat XML reader object and then I just check if this object exists and the object of course exists then I test if this object have uh, can can be read so you see in this method testing if sat dom document read success so and before before this method i actually execute this method i mean the order of uh, j unit methods uh, does not does not matter actually it's it it the uh, JUnit is uh, built in such a way that uh, all tests should always run with some result so it doesn't matter how I structure here my tests but in order to understand my my thinking process I will say following first I read XML I read it from the given path. Next, I uh, check if the document which I read is is created. So let's look at our XML reader. Here. Here we are reading. Uh, here we are calling our our method get document from DOM parser. So it give us it give us following following information. Okay. This is main. This is method where actually important things happens in get document from DOM parser. And here we read our XML file. Uh, we're using document builder factory. We're creating an instance. Then we parsing the XML to our DOM. DOM document, DOM document, <laughs> to the to our document, which is J2 DOM. Should should be J2 DOM. Uh, okay, and then and then 
Okay, create DOM document. We create our DOM document, and then we checking if the document has root. It has root, and it looks like okay. So we 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 done such job, <laughs> and things which I don't personally not I will look for getter on setter probably I wish to have for jdom doc getter on setter let's do this let's do refactoring okay refactoring source refactor and now we have it now we have it our jdom doc jdom doc and the places where we use our jdom doc we should use here this set jdom doc and things like this because it's the uh, appropriate way to do this let's let's run our test It pass, it pass, it pass. So you see the power of the unit. I can now uh, easily refactor my code without any headache, actually. And I know uh, then if, if something goes wrong, I have my things which covers me. So now, now look, okay, I have, I have finally set up my setters and getters probably this will be the next thing to test setters and getters but i don't think that i will test it now right now so let's run once again and i need to draw a line i need to draw i need to draw a line um, and say following it's parsing XML actually a lot of work as you see and definitely I will look at my code twice or thrice before I implement next future uh, because once again once again what I have done I read a read file with the help of the get document from down parser. I creating a DOM document and that's it. And 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 I check if the DOM document was created with the help of this uh, method. In the another important method, read DOM document. I actually call this method actually call this method with a given path and if this method give me a result as true so it means it, it has created document and after that I can work with a document and And actually, through through this method, through this method, uh, I assign and, dec and uh, assign the document which I have uh, created, which was so the transfer is like uh, where I have my board. Do I have my board? Uh, tutorials point. 
this is last thing which I want to to show you today. So XML was parsed to to a DOM. And that was executed. And we checked the test. The unit tests helped us to make it sure that we can read our XML, that can we that that we can create our DOM document, and later it will be even greater. So that's it for today. And I think it was a quite a quite a right because now I can finally execute my pom.xml to prove my point and now let's look at all test pass so I think XML is not easy to work with but it need be because it's a very practical way so thank you all for your time and sorry that it took too, too much long but I think it was good exercise. Bye bye.